Yo, what's up? My mullet sharp here, bringing you guys a, another YouTube video, uh, my my monthly video here. Uh, for those of you that are still subscribed to me, I'm gonna start uploading again. I promise. Uh, I know the last video I talked about how I'm gonna start uploading, and I, it didn't really work out. My last video was like four weeks ago. So, but I, I really sincerely am sorry for that, and I am gonna start uploading again. And the reason being, I'm not going back to school until January. Uh, and, and so everyone that I know is going back to school, so I won't really have anything to do better than to upload videos and play Call of Duty and stream and do all that good stuff. So uh, I guess it's a good thing for you guys, it's pretty sad for me. Uh, and so yeah, videos I'm going to be doing. 1v1 with Sharp, I'm going to bring that back. A lot of you guys have been uh, sending me messages and telling me to do it on my channel, tweeting at me. Uh, when I live stream, people have been telling me in the live stream to do that. I'm going to bring that back, bring that series. Uh, if you guys don't know what it is, I did it on the team channel. It's where I play singles, S&D, and I pretty much do a live commentary explaining step-by-step step what I'm doing and while I'm doing it. Uh, and, and a lot of you guys said it helped you guys out in singles uh, and all that stuff. Now, what you guys are watching right now is a 2v2 doubles match, Search and Destroy. Me and my brother are playing Quickfire, and... What I want to do with this series is I want to do a 2v2 with Sharp. And it's pretty much going to be the exact same thing. 1v1 with Sharp, I'm doing live commentaries now. When I do 2v2s, I'm not going to be doing a live commentary because obviously I have a teammate. We need to be making callouts, and I'm not going to sit here and be doing a commentary like this. So right now, this is not a live com. Uh, this is a... I'm watching Theater Mode right now and recording a commentary. And I think that's how I'll do the rest of the series. But uh, that doesn't really take anything away from it. Um, because I can still do the the one v one with sharp like thing where I watch what I'm doing and explain what I'm doing it, and I'll give you guys an example in a later round of what this series is going to be like. But I want to first address some questions that you guys have had for me: Is uh, will I be playing Black Ops Two? Yes, I will be playing Black Ops Two. I watched uh, some of the live stream from Treyarch this I think it was last weekend, uh, and I watched the game and watched them play competitive and saw all the stuff that they put in the game. Uh, especially with spectator mode, you can tell that they kind of put, you know, put in the game the tools needed to play competitive, and you can tell that David Vonderhaar, uh, he he did go to MLG events. I think I've mentioned this in previous videos, uh, but he did appear at MLG events, and uh, you can tell that he saw the growth in competitive Call of Duty uh, and, and just implement it into the new game. So uh, shout out to him for doing that. So you can tell that it, you know it's going to be a good game. It's going to be a really good competitive. Uh, and I think it'll be on the circuit, and for that reason, I'm going to be playing. Now, uh, a lot of you guys asked me for some reason, is gonna, am I going to be playing Xbox or PS3? Uh, and somehow, I have a really big PS3 following. A lot of you guys like playing PS3. Uh, I will play whatever MLG is on. I am a Xbox player, mainly. That's what I play, uh, is Xbox. And so, you know, Call of Duty 4, MW2, until Black Ops went on the circuit, that's when I bought my PS3 and started playing that. So... Uh, I will be playing Xbox until further announced that it's on PS3, but I personally think that it'll be on Xbox. Uh, I, I believe Sundance from MLG has already talked about this uh, and said that you know there are a lot more people who play Xbox than PS3, uh, and they think they can get a bigger showing playing Xbox. So uh, the, wherever MLG goes, that's where I'm going to go. You know, if they're playing on Wii, I'm gonna go buy me a Wii and some Black Ops 2 and get my little gun out and start playing a Wii. So. Who am I going to be teaming with? That's the, that's the next question that I always get is wh who am I going to be teaming with? Uh, and am I going to be with Envious? You know, what's going on with Stainville? Stainville is teaming with Karma, Proof, and Twiz. He did join the main team. Um, I think the original plan was for me, Foreplay, and Stain the team. Uh, now, obviously, that the, the plan has changed. Uh, so I don't know if uh, me and Foreplay are still going to team. Uh, what's going on with that? Uh, but I do actually plan on trying to find a team for the end of MW3 and playing in Frag Cup and some GB tourneys and playing GBs and all that stuff. So um, I, I do plan on trying to play this game. I still got to talk to Foreplay, see what he's doing, see uh, what he's you know what he's trying to do for Black Ops, what he's trying to do for this game, uh, and I will update you guys on a later video on that. So some pretty interesting stuff, but I can't really disclaim or I don't know what the right word. I can't really tell you guys. I'll just talk like a five-year-old <laughs> I can't really tell you guys uh, what I'm doing for black ops 2 because I don't I don't know yet so um, that's all to be determined now what I'm gonna be doing with this series like I said is gonna be like 1v1 with sharp so let me give you guys a little uh, 
little breakdown here. So the bomb is planted. We have two alive. Basically, I'm telling my teammates to just run and get as far away from the bomb as you can. Try to stay alive. I'll stay near the bomb in here. If they pick up the bomb and try to defuse, then I will get it. Now, this dude went slippery slope down the ladder, and I pick up a kill on him. Now, I didn't hear him. Uh, it was just kind of instinct to turn around. I didn't hear him going down the ladder, uh, even though I do have Astros. And I don't really crank him up too loud uh, to where I could hear people going down the ladder like that. Uh, but I do pick up the kill on him, and now it is 3-2. Going into the next round now, this that that was a very big round because that was the uh, you know the two two deciding round. Now their backs are against the wall. Uh, they need to win this next round, or obviously you know they're going to lose. So off the start, I'm going to go with the middle. Last defense, I ran through back A, and a guy came up behind my teammate over at loading. Uh, we got taken out doing that. So this time I went up the middle to stop this guy from rushing down and coming up behind my teammate and I do get him to run back into the base and now we have him trapped inside their spawn. You see on the mini map quick fires over at loading. I'm over here in main door uh, and they're both trapped in there and I was kind of playing kind of dumb right here. I, I shouldn't have been poking out like this uh, especially since I don't have a ACR or anything like that. I'm using an SMG. If one of them had an ACR he could have easily come to this window right here and just picked me off. Luckily I get away. Uh, and come to this Humvee head glitch, but I keep messing with him, I keep trying to poke out and get him, and honestly, this is the best spot to sit right here at this Humvee, but I see my teammate gets taken out, he probably shouldn't have pushed into loading like that, should have just stayed at the head glitch and waited, now this guy's shooting me, and I, I wear, my awareness tells me that there was a guy front door, uh, and that's just why I turned around, I, I was like, this guy's got to be coming out front door, they're not dumb enough to both go out loading like that, and then I see this guy shadow and shoot him through the wall and pick up the kill. Alright, so that's what uh, this series is going to be like. It's just going to be live commentary. Not live, but step by step what I'm doing while I'm doing it. Uh, and, and along with my teammate. You know, it, it does change up the strategy from 1v1 when you have uh, another player on your team. So, uh, I think a lot of you guys will enjoy that because you, you, you guys wanted me to do like 2v2 two, two tips and stuff like this. Uh, so I think this will help you guys along with uh, doubles. And when I bring the 1v1 series back, that will help you guys with that. Uh, and as always, give this video a like. I promise I'll start uploading more videos, trying to get on the daily schedule. Uh, give this video a like, add to your favorites, tweet it out, tell your grandma, tell your mom, tell your dad, tell your little brother, anything. Uh, and as always, this is Sharp. I'm out. Peace. My lit.